are live. Excellent. No need to say anything. I'm receiving ambient sound from your end. However, if you can hear me, give me a nod. Great, we're good to go. Get back to the meet as quickly as possible. You don't want to keep Pascal waiting forever. He'll start to get suspicious. Yeah, yeah, you look fine. obvious, but I wouldn't mess around with any of the guys in this room. Best to just mind your own business and make it to that door over there. Try to pat you down again. Raise your arms, please. <laughs> Saw a guy once who tried hiding a gun in a crapper. Didn't turn out too good for him. <laughs> yeah, you don't forget to move like that. All right, you're cool. Go on. And with our guest returning, ah, perfect timing. Our dinner has been served, and I, for one, do hate to negotiate on an empty stomach. Although, as I mentioned previously, the shipment you are interested in is already spoken for. Don't be so hasty, love. You never know what can be revealed during a polite dinner conversation. Yes, this is true. Please, join me. Now tell me, since you know I've already promised the shipment to someone else, why were you so insistent on this meeting? An operative must first be skilled in the art of conversation. Once mastered, these skills can be used to harvest intel, build trust, and even become delicate interrogations. This is Mr. Smith. He has stolen corporate data and needs transport out of the country. You are to gain his trust, and be that transport. Begin. I... I guess so. Small talk has its place, but this is too vague. Try again. No, I haven't. Why do you ask? Interesting choice. Now before we proceed, remember you must guide the direction of a conversation correctly. Otherwise, the subject may get suspicious of you. Suspicion could change the outcome of the interaction. It might send you down a path that's not in your best interest. Let's continue. Not really, no. Avoid dead-end yes or no questions when possible. Yeah? Good for you, but why are you telling me this? Good. You have him curious. Proceed.
Yes. Yes, I am. Nicely done. We'll make an operative out of you yet. So, why are we chatting? That's a bit insulting. I'm a simple businessman. Nothing more. Ah, the direct approach. You've discerned that I'm a man who wastes little time. I like that. But I'm afraid this conversation has already run its course before even finishing. Uh, Captain Wilson, how much longer? There. We have 20 minutes to complete this delightful meal. While well, you tell me how you came about this information about my dealing with the Kilontra rebels or um, freedom fighters, or whatever it is they're calling themselves this week. A good question, darling. I'd like to know that myself. I find that hard to believe. Cut from the same cloth, are we? You don't have to reveal your source. I respect that, even. What is known is known. However, indulge me. For my own amusement, really. Why should I risk my reputation and sell you something that is already spoken for? What are you talking about? What I'm going to do is give you a tour of the outside of my plane. <sighs> Darling? It's not champagne, but it still goes pop. You know, in my line of work, a gun to the head doesn't intimidate easily. If you shoot any part of me, my guards will be here before you can suck down your final breath. I wouldn't be so mouthy if I was in your position. I'm not afraid of death. Ooh, face sucked off by rapid decompression. Nice. I remember the last time we did that. Nasty way to go. Okay, okay, you've made your point. It's close. The shipment is close. How close? Is it here on the plane? No, outside. Right there. You can see it. Get up. into the plane's flight deck and vent the gas in the cockpit? Negative. I don't know how Pascal planned to get out of this one, but there's no system in place to vent that gas. 
You're not getting into those plane controls. I don't believe his bravado. I'm sure he has an escape plan in place. We just have to find it. Well, you better find it fast because the autopilot on that plane is only going to last for a few minutes before you go into a free fall. Try scanning a different spectrum with your lenses. Touch your temple to cycle through your options. We've done it a million times. Sorry, with Pascal unconscious, you're not going to be able to access any of this stuff. It has something to do with his biometric readings. Man, this guy was really prepared. What, are you going to drive us out of here? Keep looking. this contingency plan. A parachute for him, and a guest. I'm on it. How do you want to play this? We've been in worse situations before. Let's do it. Really? This is your plan? Zip it, Doran. You're crushing my buzz here. I'm just saying, Anna. The calculations of you reaching that other plane... What have we told you about thinking too much? Okay, fine. Let me know how it feels being sucked through a jet engine. I've always been curious. Here, take this. You'll need it if you're leading the way. Your standard-issue sidearm is a custom-built 10mm automatic. It has the stopping power of a 45 with twice the range. It's equipped with a digital round counter. Now, let's load up a magazine and see what I'm working with. Keep your aim steady. Good. Keep trying. Which one were you aiming at? You blind. Nicely done. Excellent. Is this your first time shooting a firearm?
impressive. Good. Now, let's load another magazine. All right, let's introduce some moving targets. Time to see how good you really are. Move on to secondary firing mode. Agency guns come equipped with a standard backup option. Depending on the firearm, it may need to be recharged or require a secondary option. Go ahead and begin. Very good. Although you'll find it a little more difficult when the targets shoot back.